So this is our welcome hamper. Every guest booking, no matter how long your stay is going to last for, uh, a welcome hamper is provided. And we're just about to uh, spoil the secret of what's inside for all of you that haven't stayed before. Okay, here in our welcome hamper basket, we have uh, three locally made raspberry jam and rowan jelly and cashmere chutney. Cashmere chutney. <laughs> and, uh, they are locally made by Strathconnen. Then for the boozers out there, there's some blended whiskey, specially chosen by Eagle Bray. It's a Glen Katrine, um, made up for us by our friend Bruce down in Edinburgh. Uh, they've been very popular. We don't yet sell these, so uh, the two in the welcome hamper have to be savoured. Here we have our uh, Highland crackers and uh, they are made by a lady down in Kiltality and uh, they are all uh, homemade and uh, mostly locally sourced uh, ingredients in there, especially the flour, it's from Orkney, so yeah. One of the two only non-eatables in the hamper is some uh, Indian incense. We burn one of these ourselves every morning. It's the best there is in the whole of India and I can tell you they make millions of these things. Uh, they're sandy coloured, hand rolled, very sort of rustic, chunky incense stick. Kicks off loads of nice aroma, not one of these uh, sort of black machine rolled joystick types. So even if you think you don't like incense, this is a good gift and I think you should light at least one of them. <laughs> Here we have uh, garlicky oat cakes, again very locally made and uh, they also grow their own garlic as well and very tasty with any type of cheese or you can actually snack on them as they are and uh, yeah so really garlicky oat cakes and also good to have this with it too if you're eating it with Put them cheese. together. Buddies. Buddies go there. Um, there's two beers here, both made by the Black Isle Brewery, which is on the Black Isle about half an hour from here, just north of Inverness. The blonde is uh, similar to a lager, but obviously it's a sort of craft lager made uh, with local barley, all organically grown. And Red Kite Ale is a sort of, you know, typical British amber coloured ale, not too hoppy, um, not too fizzy. They've both been very popular, not only with our guests, but they're making waves abroad now, particularly in Italy, Japan and Scandinavia. So going from strength to strength, uh, Black Isle beers. Okay, next we have our uh, um, homemade elderflower and uh, I make this elderflower from uh, scratch and it's an old recipe of my mother-in-law that I uh, follow. It's um, a, a very good um, sort of refreshing drink that uh, you can have, um, so you must dilute it, but it's also very tasty with the gin as well, so you can have gin and elderflower, which seems to be quite a good combo as well. Happy to share with the recipe if anybody is willing to try to make it at home, so yeah. And every hamper gets three postcards of the cabin that you're staying in, in the uh, hope that you'll send them to your buddies and help spread the word or take them home just as mementos. Some of our best photos are uh, made into postcards for you there. We have uh, shortbread here. They are made by Forest. Probably the most popular item in the whole hamper. <laughs> Save till last. Very popular with anyone. So yeah, locally made by Shaw, uh, Forest Kitchen and uh, yeah. And we sell them in reception, uh, typically three boxes to everybody when they leave. <laughs> <laughs> so here we have a Scottish tablet and uh, it is very, very uh, traditional um, sweet, I suppose. It's been in Scotland for a long, long time. and uh, Scotland's version of fudge basically yeah so it's from our forest kitchen again handmade as well so really good and lastly is the hamper itself this is a hand woven willow and birch hamper and guests are welcome to take this home with them as well if they want to handy for putting your soaps little bits and bobs in whatever it's a handy nice looking little handmade basket <laughs>